Oh my gosh. Babe, look at this one. Oh my gosh, that whole thing just went down. What in the world? Come look at this. Where do we start? Oh my gosh. We start. Where do we start? We'll start with this. Today is Thursday, and this started on Sunday. The storm hit on Sunday. Yes. That was Valentine's Day. Yeah. Tonight, by the way, is the first time we will not put out a video on the Smiths on Thursday night at six in like two years. Wait, are we posting a video tonight? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It was a massive icicle ice. That was a 15 foot icicle. Yeah. That would have punctured somebody's head. Okay. We're not posting a video tonight. Right. Okay. Yeah. We're posting this video on Tuesday, but I'm telling y'all, okay. we don't have Wi-Fi to upload. So a little sad, you know, you guys are not going to get a video tonight. So I'm going to make what would have been two videos combine them into one. Amber and I are gonna sit here, we'll just walk you through the whole thing. I don't think I'm gonna make this too dramatic because I'm sure there's a, there's a lot of millions of other YouTube videos you're gonna watch that are super dramatic. But this was For the sure. worst. Tell the truth. This was the worst winter storm in Texas in 30 years. Well, and even that, back in 83, it was only cold. It wasn't like, it wasn't the storm like Yeah, we didn't, get the we didn't get the precipitation. Ice and precipitation and but the last time we had this many days uh, below freezing was 1983. Mm -hmm. So it started on Sunday and it started with the ice. We had freezing rain. It was crazy. It was like 28 degrees and just straight rain, straight rain, no snow, no sleet. It was just rain and it was hitting the trees. I, I know right here in the, where we live, we got it worse than any place in the county. Yeah. Especially our property and all our neighbors, our trees were just- They're still falling. Completely devastated. It was the scariest thing. We were outside watching the rain and you could just hear trees going. <laughs> just, just, and we were like, what is happening? I mean, branches, trees, massive branches. And I'll show you right here, like this is our, this is our yard, but so this is a, this is a live oak and m mostly live oaks what got damaged. And this is what happened. The, the live oaks are evergreens and they're just not made for cold weather. They're not, they're not like pine or whatever you guys have in the North. They're, or white, white oak. These live oaks hold their leaves and it was just collecting so much chunks of water. It, the, the rain was hitting these, these branches and just doing that. And that times a thousand on a branch created 500 pounds worth of weight that these trees couldn't take. And they just, they started falling. And our, our property right now looks like. I think the thing that you said it best was it looks like we have about a hundred piles of, like we're gonna start big bonfires everywhere, yeah. all at the proper, all throughout the property. It looks like a, a F5 tornado hit this property from what I'm looking at. Guys. Guys! What? 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 No school tomorrow. Yes! Yeah! You're not sad? Oh, Valentine's. Really good eye. All right, back to your previously scheduled activities. All right, guys, I have made it back from Fort Worth. I had a really good time up there. I was able to spend a lot of time with my mom, which I don't usually get to do for more than a few hours at a time. Got to see my friend's new baby, Sawyer, and got to hang out with Christine. I didn't film 
hanging out with Christine. We just got to busy talking and we had dinner. We watched a movie called I Still Believe. I've already seen that movie, but she hadn't. We just sat there and bawled and held each other and cried for the whole night. So that was just a really good time to spend together. If you haven't seen that movie, please see that movie. It's so hopeful. And I came home to Ice Mageddon. All of our trees are breaking. As soon as I stopped the camera, you guys, this massive wind just fell. You can hear them. You can hear them just all breaking. Granger is so sad. Y'all, you know how much he loves the outdoors and nature and trees. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be so upset when he comes home. Listen. It's all of them, guys, all of them. Oh my gosh, let me show you. So that was the one that just fell right when I turned the camera off. You can just hear them cracking all back there in the woods. everywhere guys come on doggies y'all need to go inside they're gonna get hit with a tree they're just all on the ground the ice is so gorgeous but they're just killing our land this is where I do my rise guys I had to move my chair because branches kept falling I mean You can just hear them cracking over there. It's our neighbor's house. Neighbors just spent a ton of money on landscaping, having all their trees trimmed up and it looks so gorgeous. And now they're all cracking and breaking. I just, oh, I don't know. Thankfully though, it didn't hit any of our dwellings. Yeah, our barn is fine. Our cars it, are fine. Our, our cars are fine. Our kids are fine. The red barn's fine. And the house that we're building is fine. Yeah. And all the animals are fine. We're not going to tell you any stories about any yeah. any animals that we lost on this this storm. So that was day one. The uh, the ice. What do you have? He's sleeping on me. Is it hurt? Huh? Is it hurt? It's cold. I caught him in the house. He was on the very high. I know you love animals so much, but we cannot keep him in an Let's RV. Just go get no, baby. He's probably flew in the house because he's smart and was keeping warm. Nah. Oh, are no. you telling, turning me away? I got turned away. They think they're keeping this bird. Well, how about y'all hold them together and both let them go together? Both of you. Both hands. Three, two, one. Bye-bye. No, Luna! <laughs> I'm on ground. Lincoln. I'm on ground. Don't worry, I'm on ground. All right. See? Yeah, I see. It yeah. came out of the ground. Yeah. Let's go feed this to the chickens. Just a second. You're a wild man. Daddy's over there trying to cut down and salvage trees. It's satisfying. <laughs> It'll bloom prettier than before, buddy. Just like Daddy said, we don't love the things of this world. We love the Creator, right? Things of this world are temporary. Let's go inside of them. And what is unseen is eternal. Right, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> what did I just what did I just say? No, I don't know. I didn't think so. Look at her pointing and freezing. Lena. Hi. Yeah, girl. She's a girl. I heard you over there hacking, you alright? <laughs> now they can be warm. Yeah, now they can be warm. Go lay in there, buddy. What? See if you could curl up and get warm. Come on. It's nice. Did you break the water today? Now they're just going to drink your muddy foot water. Yeah. <laughs> you should probably get them some fresh water. That night, Sunday night, then it started snowing. So then the snow hit on top of the ice, created more weight, more trees fell, but then the temperature dropped to zero degrees. So once again, Texas isn't made for zero degrees. And so Especially us in a barn. Yeah. In an so, RV. so all the pipes in Texas. <laughs> you guys, are y'all gonna do this the whole time we film? <laughs> yeah, you're, Welcome. You're all this land, and you're right here. Nothing could handle that kind of cold. So I'm putting heaters in my well house, which there's always a heater in the well house. But I was like putting two heaters in the well house, and running those, and so we were staying good. The next day, the power outage power. just start, started. We lost power which means we lost all heaters and then we lost heaters in the well house. We lost, um, the chickens lost their heat lamp. Um, it's when we pretty, I don't know, when did we wear, we put on all our ski gear and just wore it straight for like three days. 
Yeah. None of us took anything off. So we that's slept when I, in it. That's when I started layering up. Our barn got, the lowest it got when it was zero outside was 28 degrees. Welcome back to Icepocalypse 2021. We are in the RV. We have lost power. So I have the, we have the lights. I guess uh, the Explore USA RV is run on battery for our lights. So we still have lights. Currently, it is 60, 60 in the RV. Granger has a generator. He just got outside and just got started. And so we, we had Crock-Pot lasagna on. <laughs> and so the electricity went out. So we're charging our, um, we're heating up our lasagna on a generator currently, so. So I still got up every morning, did a workout, did my Bible study. What? Crazy. Oh. This school still works out in a freezing cold barn. That's dedication. I still did my um, Bible study every morning in the barn. I did that too. With propane heaters. The good news in this whole thing is with living in the RV, the RV is made for camping. So it's it's made to go out and be in Montana and be in, in sub-zero temperatures and you run the propane. Problem is there's no gauge to know exactly how much propane is left. And so we needed to do cooking and heating, so I hardly ran the heater at all. at all. Then the power came back on for like an hour. Yeah. And then we realized, after an hour it cut off, we realized, as most Texans started realizing, and I think Oklahoma too, yeah. they were cycling the power grid. The good thing was, since we were in the RV, everyone else that lost power didn't have any lights. We had lights because it was yeah, battery. because we're running on battery. So it was awesome. So every time the power came on, it would charge our batteries just a little bit, and we would run our space heaters inside the RV which would heat us up. Just enough. <laughs> just enough, it would, get, it would get the RV to like 50. And then it, it would, would cut off out. again. It would get down to like 40 and it would come back on and we'd heat it up to like 50. But 50 degrees when you're bundled up, feels pretty yeah, good. Yeah. So we were never really suffering. No, and it was fun. We have so much deer meat <laughs> in our deep freezer that we just started, once we went through our normal meats, we just started going straight deer meat. And we've been eat, we've been on a <laughs> diet of deer meat. A scimitar, scimitar horned orcs that I shot in Weatherford, Texas with Joey Jones. Mm -hmm. We've been eating that for five it's days. It's really good. Yeah, we've been eating everything. Breakfast, and sausage, oh, really? And our dogs have been going nuts over all the birds. The birds, <laughs> the yeah. birds are, are beautiful. really taking uh, a beating with this. So we have dead birds everywhere and they're, they're moving slow and they're they're flying low, so the dogs quickly realize they could actually catch birds. So we're trying to keep the dogs away from the birds. I'm putting bird seed out, and the bird seed created like a McDonald's yeah. for our property, <laughs> it a ton. and it was a nonstop <laughs> nonstop line at the McDonald's drive-through for the birds. Goats. Goats. Brand new goats. Uh, luckily, as you, as you saw last episode, I built a shelter for them. And everybody said, put hay in there, put hay in there. We did of all course that. I, of course we, I put course hay in there. That, yeah. so. I would go out every morning and break the ice, and every morning that ice would get thicker and thicker and thicker in their water trough. The same thing with the chickens. chickens. Keeping water was the most important thing. Then we lost our water. Yeah. Probably not, huh? Yep, there's some. All right, girls. Here, I'll do it. Yeah, you're helping me. That actually works out good because you're helping me clear the brush a little bit, aren't you? Power was on and off. It was like just enough to get the heater going and then it would get down to like 40 inside the RV and then the power would come back on and we'd get it back up again. And I only had to use the uh, propane heater one time. It was this morning when I woke up and I wanted the kids to get a little extra warmth because you could see your breath in there. Broke up the goat's water here. That was a thick hole today. I just gave water to the chickens. They're all doing good. Luna is out here running around. Luna, come here. You're having fun. And Remy, Remy's somewhere too. The problem I'm having with Remy is when the power cycles, for some reason his collar, his proximity collar, starts beeping. So I've been taking it off, but when I take it off, then he wants to go exploring because he knows his collar's off. I'll be dealing with that today. I'd almost rather just keep it on him and let it beep and freak him out 
and not lose them in the snow. I think my plants are gonna be okay. They're just, they're just gonna suffer a little bit. I gotta get some consistent power to hold them together. Today, we're supposed to get up to like 29. That's awesome, we need that. And if it stays sunny like this, 29 and sunny will lead to a lot more thawing. As you can see, it's still, it's still uh, what it was yesterday. It feels like I'm snow skiing and I'm in Colorado. You want to eat? Back in the barn. It's still one degrees outside. It's 8.30 in the morning and one degrees. I just wanted to go up to like five degrees. That'd be amazing, just five degrees, right? You still want to eat, buddy? You're too cold to eat. I'm going to, I just took care of the animals and so I'm going to venture out and go to the Yee farm today. It's still one degrees. I'd like it to get a little bit warmer before I hit the road. So I'm going to go over there and see Tyler, go to the Yee farm and uh, see what's going on there. Yeah. You just close this up at night? They don't, they don't come out of the pen, the, the coop. But do you close this up at night? Yeah, I just opened it today to see if they come out. Yeah, what are you girls doing? There's a dead one right there. Oh gosh. It just sat under there and froze? Never made it into the coop? Sorry about your friend, guys. Coyote tracks? Yeah. It's a big one. There's a couple. There's one there, and then he turned that way, went that way, and then one over here. Oh, they went to the quail? on a run that way and then there's another when we lost our water and our power that's when that's when things got a little touchy and the reason we lost water was i don't know if you could see that there goes another there tree another tree it scared me it's still happening <laughs> since sunday it's thursday we're still losing trees so we lost our water and that was a mistake on my part because the heaters in the well house were the kind of heaters where when they lose power, you have to boop, push the button and they start back up again. So I was like, oh, I'm so stupid. So that they went all day, the well house went all day in zero degrees um, with no heat till I realized water wasn't on. So I quickly went out there, put propane heaters in the well house and switched that heater out with the heater we were using for the dogs that every time it gets power, it just starts heating. Yeah. So that was enough to go an hour off, an hour on, an hour off, an hour on. And just once again, I was just trying to keep that well house at 33 degrees. That's all I wanted, 33 degrees. You got it back. And I did, I got it back within a couple hours yeah. with a lot of propane. Yeah. All right, Gypsy. So, water. Yay. So it, I had two heaters going on in the well house. That brought the temperature back up above freezing. And I'm not getting the water from out of the ground from the windmill, that's still frozen, but I am getting it out of my tank, which is a thousand gallons. That pump is on, thawed out until the next power outage. So the power's been going in and out, but I think we've gone a couple hours now. Tonight, if it goes out, I'll just keep going back to the well house and making sure that, that we're recycling the heaters, making sure that it stays above freezing. So. We have water and power. It's almost back to normal. Got the chainsaw running. Getting ready. Good sign. Got some drippage. Dogs are loving it. Look at all this mess, guys. 
I'm talking about the trees. I have more chainsaw work than my days of my life are left. Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? By the way, the power's off. <laughs> so right after I filmed that last video, the power went off. So I know we could stay warm. I'm just hoping that uh, the well house will stay warm. That's like my new, my new thing just to make it through tomorrow at least. All this time, I was still able to drive my truck. Yeah. Because, you know, it's a big, heavy truck, four wheel drive, big tires, a lot of grip. I was still able to get around until like Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And we had another, another <laughs> freezing rain after the snow. So it was freezing rain and then snow. We got like eight inches of snow. So then everybody drove those days and it made a bunch of slush. Then and then we had more freezing rain and it created what it is now. So Just sorry. like the, it's like an ice skating rink, hard packed ice skating rink with bumps. It's day, what is it, four of this stuff? Good news is it's a lot warmer, it's like 20. The bad news is we got more ice, which is just, the snow is now turned to ice. Like this. Which makes, it makes for uh, tough driving if I need to go anywhere today. Hey girls. Um, and I, we're still doing the rolling blackouts, you know, we're losing power and then they'll kick it on for just a little bit and they'll kick it back off. So it's an adventure. I'm worried that this video is going to be super boring and that you guys are going to be like, stop talking, but it's hard, it's hard to make cool cinematic stuff in this kind of cold. I know, you're so hungry. You're so hungry. You're just climbing all in it. <laughs> Y'all, look at the, the extent of this ice. I just saw this on the other door. Let's see if it does the same thing as the driver's side. Ah! Oh, you believe that? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I'll show you guys something over here. Something I didn't talk about on any episode, but I spent some time alone and didn't film it and I made a cross because I wanted to have a cross in my woods. I just thought it'd be, it'd be neat to have a special place to go, a little quiet time. And so I researched, you know, how to make the knots. And when I lost all the trees in the woods, I just, I thought the cross would be toast. But wouldn't you know it, the cross still stands. I'll show you. So you can see all that fell around it perfectly. And there's the cross. Standing alone. Completely missed by all the limbs. Isn't that crazy? Not gonna lie, I'm a little worried in here, but. But I wanna show you. I brought the tractor in here yesterday a little bit just to kind of get my road back, but you could see. You hear those trees falling? It's so creepy, you just hear branches just cricking. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. If something falls, I could, I could see it and get out of the way. It's probably not the case. It probably falls a lot quicker than you think. Crazy and beautiful at the same time. It is beautiful. It's hard to, to not overlook through the chaos what's actually incredibly beautiful. So it's impossible to drive. We actually, we went out like a mile from here just to try to get cell phone service because we don't have cell phone service in here without power. 
because I have a, a cell phone booster in the barn. So we drove like a mile, me and you. Just trying to upload stuff for y'all. <laughs> and also just like catch up with the world, yeah. like seeing what's going on in the world yeah. just to get some kind of cell service. And then we realized as we started seeing everyone in the ditch. Yeah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. All right, we came up the road a little bit to try to get cell service because we still don't have power, internet or Wi-Fi and we needed to upload. So we just went a little bit around the corner and we're trying to get back and we're sliding everywhere. This trusty Super Duty Ford is gonna get us there, I believe it. The I'm gonna show them the Jeep problem. that we're trying not to hit. Trying not to hit that Jeep right there. We would love to help them out, but our main goal is to not hit them currently because we're going sideways. You are a machine driver, babe, by the way, babe. We're just gonna try to get to that little bit slow up here. We're riding the ice, that's what's killing us. It's just solid. Solid, we're trying not to hit that Jeep. You got this, Lord Jesus. You got this, Lord Jesus. You got this, Jesus. You got this, Jesus. Are we gonna stop? Try to help him. Try, try to help him. Okay. Be careful, don't fall. Oh. All right, we're stopping to help another person that's stuck. He looks like Granger's dad. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all, he looks just like Granger's dad from here. That is the weirdest thing. Oh my gosh, okay. Just trying to help him out. But I don't think, we don't think we could pull him out. Make some room for him. He's going to come with us. Okay. I thought he looked like your dad when he got out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, update. What was the update? The tractor was coming? They're going to try to get a tractor out for that guy. Um, but I told him, you know, we live close enough where I could walk back. Yeah. And he has a full tank of gas and that all the power trucks are stuck. There's three power company yeah. trucks stuck right behind us. I heard that. So they have a wrecker coming, but they don't think the wrecker could make it here. I-35 is shut down. Everything's shut down. Oh, man. I said, so, I can bring him back some hot chocolate. And he goes, in what? <laughs> yeah. At least he has a full tank of gas so we can stay warm inside yeah with the, his jeep so hopefully he'll call us and he got out by the tractor or he calls us and we come back to help yep yep we're not prepared we don't have chains for this kind of stuff well they, they uh power company had chains and they all they blew them all they broke them <laughs> yeah there we go slide here we in. go <sighs> one thing i forgot to say is we got out to try to take a thumbnail and i straight up did the splits like the literal splits, my legs split. Like I haven't split since like sixth grade in gymnastics. I cannot, I would be not walking for months. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Oh, these trusty legs still work. So the guy in the Jeep, mm -hmm. we offered to take him home, yeah. but then he, he opted to go with one of the local farmers and have a tractor pull him out. Since then we exchanged numbers. I haven't heard from him. So I'm assuming he's okay. Okay. It's like a mile from here. Yeah. We haven't left since then. Let me say something real quick. We did hear whenever we stopped that there was three, is that, were they line workers? Yeah, power, or were, power companies. Power companies that were stuck. So thank you to all of the line workers, power companies, first responders, firemen, all of you people who are, who are working to keep everybody safe, everybody's lights on, propane companies still delivering propane. Just yeah. want to say thank you. Yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. The world will figure out soon what the t problem Texas had was and I know some people say, oh, it's because you guys have your own system. Well, this has just never happened. So once again, it's not really even a lack of preparation. It's just, this is a complete act of God yeah. that this happened, not one, we could handle one day. We could probably handle two, <laughs> but an entire week of below freezing, a couple days in there, sub-zero Fahrenheit. It's just not, as you could see, when the birds are falling out of the sky, that's a good indication that uh, this region is not used to this. I mean, we have so much to be grateful yeah. for. We kept saying we were so grateful. Yeah. God kept giving us just enough. Just like, enough. Just enough to get to the next step. And when the lights and the, when the power would kick back on and the space heater would come on, it was, we would all be like, yay, praise <laughs> the Lord. And we would get so excited and it was a cool feeling. We, we sat around, we played cards. So we many played, cards. We played Uno. <laughs> Who knows how to skip bo. Um, we Solitaire. played uh, Battleship. Yeah. We played every board game. Yeah. 
with the kids. And the kids loved it, man. They loved it. They it was, loved everything except for no Wi-Fi. You would, <laughs> you would think the world was ending. And I loved that. Oh my gosh. I loved that. And so it's been just a, just a, an adventure is what I keep saying. When people yeah. keep texting me like, are you okay? I'm like, man, we're living in, in an adventure. And I know we, we've been... We've had it better than most. I mean, some people have yeah. have had no power, no water for a week. Some people had no food storage. No food. They didn't. They didn't go shop. You know. Um. So my friend's roof fell in from a pipe bursting. Like her whole bedroom ceiling fell in. So us people have it so much worse. So we're so. You going to the grocery store with all the lights oh, off gosh. is one of the weirdest. That things. That is one of the weirdest things. I felt like it was The Walking Dead. This is the craziest thing I have ever done. I am currently in Brookshire's in the grocery store because. We need a couple of things. There's no power. We're all shopping by our phone flashlights and everything is like off the shelves. Like, everything is gone again. So just picking up a couple extra things for ice apocalypse in Texas. Okay, everybody, I'm so sorry. Our register, the last one that we have was running the uh, battery and it's gone. That's it. Um, give us a little bit. Let's see what we can, let's see if there's something we can still do, okay? Oh man, what a crazy deal. So they were working on off of battery power for their uh, cash register and that last register went out like seven people ahead of me. So there were some really upset people at Brookshire's today and they were just wanting, they were like, can we just leave cash here and take the groceries? And the lady said, I would so love to do that. I appreciate you guys willing to do that, but we have to keep inventory. So I thought there might be a riot, but everybody in town was very polite, very kind. And uh, we just said thank you. And thank you guys for working in such crazy conditions here in Texas. So I'm going to try to go find water and propane somewhere else. If any of you guys watch that, where they're like scout, they're going out in the night trying to find food and, you went, and supplies. You went grocery shopping in the dark. Because it wasn't just residential that lost power. All major businesses, residents yeah. lost power. Except for, our theory is, except for the people on hospital, hospital grids. grids. Yeah. So anyone that lived around the hospital, like uh, my tour manager, Chris, um, our friends in Round Rock, yeah. they were living on a hospital grid. Another blessing we have is the well. You know, as much as I struggled to keep our well warm, a lot of people still to this day are having to boil water yeah, in central long. Texas yeah. and I guess in North Texas too. But that's the word I keep using is everyone keeps saying, are y'all okay? And I keep saying, yeah, it's just been an adventure. Yeah. That's what I keep saying. It's just been an adventure and it's something that we'll never forget. And I feel like it's like we said the last two years, it's just been thing after thing after thing after thing, just kind of thrown at everybody. Yeah. And so it, it's all of kind of about how you how you see it, your perspective yeah. and your attitude it's about it. It's all about perspective. What's to come for the Smiths? We have- Lots of tree cleanup. You could just hear trees still. Still. And y'all should have heard this on Sunday. It was just like, it was like a war zone was happening with our trees. The kids wanted to play outside, but we had to keep saying, you know, you have to stay away from the trees because it would just fall on them and crush them. Yeah. So I'm going to have about six to 12 months of chainsaw work to do. Mm -hmm. My next door neighbor already hired a crew, which, you know, crews in Texas are gonna be so busy. So we're gonna have his crew come help me. And then we're, we're just gonna be dragging bonfires, chainsaw. Bon so if anyone wants to come over and help me chainsaw and, and make some bonfires, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. One thing I kept saying, the one thing I was doing in my Bible study is that I was trying to help myself say, God, don't let me love this, this earth because I get, I get to loving this earth so much, like the, my trees and my land, and I get to loving that so much that it's hard to let it go. It's hard to realize, like the tree in front of our house is 500 years old, and it's just in shambles, absolute shambles. We have, a, we have trees that have been here for 200 years that are completely uprooted. Once again, that says something about the severity of this storm. Mm -hmm. The South Texas, the Valley, the, all those fruit trees are devastated. So the Texas fruits are going to be non-existent this season in grocery stores. But we did say, while you know, so many of us are suffering, if you can consider it suffering, so many people are about to be thriving. You know, tree companies yeah. and- <laughs> plumbers, plumbers are gonna be thriving. And, you know, uh, all, who else? Probane companies, I mean, 
God is he insurance. makes his rounds. Insurance, insurance is going to pay. It's going to pay know. for a lot of uh, construction workers going to so. be out there. So a lot of contractors are going to be working. Um, unfortunately, the fuel prices are probably going to spike because the Texas hadn't been able to make some fuel in a while. But you know, I I just I it's hard for me it's hard for me to be too negative about it because it's just been it's been an adventure and yeah. we all have lists now of things that. That we're going to be doing our, our new house is going to have a full generator backup that was already the plan and people made fun of me for even planning on that we're gonna have full ski gear ready to go <laughs> yeah yeah well our kids um there's there's another family that borrowed our kids ski gear <laughs> so they can go to colorado and ski and then so our kids had nothing that was waterproof and they're just wanting to roll around in yeah. the snow for three days they still had fun we've all we've all had fun like I yep. said, it's all about perspective. And so many of our friends offered for us to come stay and we were like, no, we're, we're good. We've got our, our chicken eggs. We've got lots of fresh eggs and the RV is warm, you know, when the power's on. And We'd wake up and just, I could just blow steam out of my mouth from the bed. Yeah. As far as us and our family, my mom's staying with us. As far as we're concerned, was it comfortable? No, but it's, sometimes it's good to get out of the comfort zone. Yeah. You know, it's good. It's good to experience crazy stuff like this. I mean, it's it's been, you see how you can adapt. It's been two years of it, unfortunately, if you add 2020 to this, but um, but yeah, it's all about adapting and, and who's gonna who's gonna make it out of this. So we learned a lot. We did. We learned a lot. And here's the best news of all. Tomorrow is supposed to be high of 39 and sunny. 39! It's gonna, gonna be our first first day over freezing. We're gonna, as soon as we can start melting some of this stuff, I can get to work on the trees. Here's the, the second piece of good news. So far, our power today has been on. We've had it For the first time in four days, we've had consistent power. So whatever happened. 24 hours now. Yeah, whatever happened, is it two o'clock yet? Yeah, yesterday yeah. at 2 p.m. it came on. Whatever happened, um, it looks like we're we're home free. And we just got Wi-Fi back? Yeah, so we, we just got Wi-Fi back. So we'll, and... we'll get this, we'll upload it. We'll have all this ready yeah. for the next episode. And but now we heard it, we think it's hitting Paul, who edits all this. So yeah, sorry <laughs> Paul, it's hitting, it's hitting San Antonio right now, it sounds like. I hope um, all of you people in the Southwest, I hope that you're safe and warm, and I know that you're not comfortable, and I know you might be hungry, but that's that's not what we're here to say. We, we want you to actually stay alive. Yeah. And other than that, if you could stay alive, then a little challenge, a little suffering, a little uncomfortable, is good for the soul it's good for uh it's good for building character no doubt paul says suffering leads to perseverance perseverance leads to character character leads to hope and we have hope in this in this family yeah. so hope as for me as my family <laughs> <laughs> love you guys we'll see you bye, bye. Yee -yee.